so today we are going to see the new topic that is techniques of capital budgeting so under the first technique is net present value so now let us see the meaning of this net present value so this method explicitly recognizes the time value of money companies use the npv method when they have to decide whether to continue with the existing equipment or buy new equipment that would increase production efficiency the net present value method is important because it expresses in absolute terms the benefit of the project to the shareholder so here npv method or net present value method is mainly used to decide whether we have to invest in the project or not to invest that means we have to accept or reject our investment okay so at that time we can easily uh, we can judge that whether our project what we are investing is efficient to us that means after investing we'll get there some returns or not okay that's that's what net present value is mainly concerning that it concerns time value of money okay so now let us go to the problem based on net present value so before going to the problem so let us see what are the steps which are been included in calculating net present value so the first step is conversion of foreign cash flows into home currency cash flows so this type of step only comes whenever we are going to use multinational capital budgeting or international capital budgeting so at that time the technique of NP that is the techniques of uh, capital budgeting you now the technique is NPV so NPV's first step will be conversion of foreign cash flows into home currency cash flows because here the cash flows are being between the countries so at the time foreign currency as well as home currency occurs so first step is conversion of foreign cash flows into home currency cash flows so to calculate that we require expected exchange rate so eer that is expected exchange rate is equal to so that is spot exchange rate into 1 plus rh as we have already discussed rh is okay is free rate of home currency by 1 plus rf this free rate of foreign currency multiplied to the power t so here this t is time period okay this is how the first step goes now coming for the second step calculation of npv so you can see sigma n to the base t is equal to 1 it's nothing but cft by 1 plus k to the power 2 minus io or you can use even this formula also so npv is equal to cf1 by 1 plus k to the power 1 plus cf2 by 1 plus k to the power 2 plus cf3 by 1 plus k to the power 3 plus dot 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 that is uh, you can go it can go for the infinity how many years are given in the question minus initial cash outlay so here what is this cf refers to so here cf 1 2 3 you can see that is 1 2 3 represents the time period so here cf means annual cash flows after tax in a period so here k means cost of capital and n is expected life of the project so here io that is where io represent initial cash outlay and t represents time period so this is for second step so coming for the third step calculation of dollar rate of return so we are going to calculate the risk of even uh, indian currency risk as well as foreign currency risk so both the NPVs were, you know, by seeing from the Indian side and being by seeing from the foreign side, it should be profitable so that it helps us. So calculation of dollar rate of return, this will be the last step. So for that, the formula is 1 plus RAR is equal to 1 plus RF multiplied with 1 plus RP. So here RP means risk of the portfolio being evaluated. And RAR is also called as total capital ratio, which is given in the problem already. You can say the rate or total rate of the project then rf risk free rate of foreign currency 